Juneteenth, Our Day of Freedom, written by Sharon Dennis Way and illustrated by Kim Holt. Juneteenth, Our Day of Freedom. Juneteenth is a joyous holiday. It's also called Freedom Day. On that day, we celebrate the end of slavery in America. Juneteenth got its name from June 19th. On that date in 1865, Major General Gordon Granger entered the city of Galveston, Texas. About 2,000 Union soldiers were with him. Some of the soldiers belonged to the United States Colored Troops, also known as the USCT. The USCT soldiers were free African Americans. Some had made dangerous escapes from where they had been enslaved. They had joined the Union Army to fight for the freedom of their own people. From April 1861 to April 1865, America had been at war over slavery. It was called the Civil War. Eleven states that allowed slavery had rebelled and left the Union. Texas was one of them, but the rebel states had lost. Even before the war ended, President Lincoln signed an order called the Emancipation Proclamation. On January 1st, 1863, he declared that all enslaved people in the rebel states were to be freed. Two years later, in 1865, thousands of African Americans in Texas still hadn't been told they were free. Enslaved people did backbreaking work for no pay. Slaveholders had selfishly kept the good news of freedom a secret. They didn't want to lose their unpaid workers. But now, General Granger had come to read order number three to proclaim freedom. The soldiers would make sure the order was obeyed. Granger's voice rang out, all slaves are free. The crowd blew excited, and slave people shouted for joy. When they discovered that they could have been freed two years earlier, many were stunned and angry too. Some enslaved people had tried to run away in the past, but if they got caught, they were harshly punished. As the good news spread, enslaved laborers walked out of the field. They could no longer be forced to plant and harvest crops for no pay. Enslaved servants left large houses where slave owners had forced them to cook, wash clothes, and take care of farm animals. Now, at last, they were free. Imagine how thankful they felt. They kneeled in prayer. Imagine their gladness and celebration. Neighbors hugged and shared good things that they had. There might have been sweet strawberry drinks and cornbread with apple butter or a delicious pot of stew. Thousands left their tiny slave cabins behind. Freedom meant that they could make new lives. They had few belongings, but they had powerful dreams, dreams they could share as they walked, dreams they could share around campfires of Union soldiers who took them in. Newly freed people wanted their own land. They dreamed of building houses and starting farms. Slaveholders had tried to prevent enslaved people from learning to read and write. Now, newly freed people had a chance to learn and they were eager for education. Most of all, they wanted to work for wages. They took their skills with them wherever they went. Field hands and cow hands, carpenters and blacksmiths, Seamstress and cooks could now be paid for their labor. Not all freed people in Texas left the state. Some became tenant farmers and servants for former slaveholders. This was a hard life too, because the wages were low, but the people were paid. Freed people often gave themselves new names for their new lives names of lost loved ones or the places they were born, names from the Bible or a poem, 
African names that were passed down in secret. People named themselves for the things they believed in, truth and freedom. Freedom made them hopeful, but they would not easily forget the cruelty of slavery. Many families had been separated and never saw one another again. June 19th became a day of remembrance in Texas. It is a day where the descendants of enslaved Africans think about their ancestors. And like those who came before them, they celebrate freedom. In 1980, Texas made Juneteenth a state holiday. Juneteenth became celebrated in nearly every other state and the District of Columbia. And in 2021, Juneteenth was made a federal holiday. People line the streets at Juneteenth parades to see brightly colored floats and matching bands. Marching bands. In Longview, Texas, there's a Juneteenth rodeo. On Juneteenth, we play baseball. We have Juneteenth block parties, and everyone on the street is invited. We bring homemade salads and desserts to backyard barbecues. We enjoyed red foods like watermelon, red velvet cake, and strawberry soda, a traditional Juneteenth drink. And our elders tell stories of our ancestors' lives. We pass around family photos and we draw family trees. We listen to the Emancipation Proclamation and we honor the leaders of the past and discuss ways to keep working for equality. We sing the Black National Anthem. Lift every voice and sing. We write essays about what freedom means to us. America was founded on the promise of freedom in the Declaration of Independence, which was signed in 1776. With the end of slavery in 1865, the country got one step closer to keeping that promise. Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom for all. This is the author's note. The long denied freedom of 250,000 enslaved people in Texas has become a powerful symbol, but slavery was not abolished in the entire country until the 13th Amendment was ratified on December 6, 1865. Through political activism and participation in the democratic process, our country continues to strive to meet the high ideals of the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Thanks so much for reading. I hope that you are celebrating Juneteenth and honoring Black history and Black Americans. Catch you next time.